as we get ready for this tag team match, Byron. Tell me, who do you like in this one? Come on, Michael. You know I can't answer that. Look at these teams. They both have what it takes to be the most dominant team WWE has seen in quite some time. There's almost no way to confidently pick one over the other. Guys, we have a big-time tag team match coming up here. A big-time match with big-time stakes, Michael. Neither one of these superstars can afford a loss right now. So don't move a muscle. Everyone's ready, and just like that, this tag team match is underway. What a hurricane! technique. Byron, one thing we learned very early on about Ember Moon is that she can overcome any adversity thrown her way. Yeah, and I think she proved that most in 2017 when she was sidelined for several weeks due to a shoulder injury, but eventually returned to capture the NXT Women's Championship later that same year. Oh, man, what a strike! If I could reinforce what Byron was saying about Ember Moon's NXT Women's Championship victory, what made it so impressive, in my opinion, is that she had to defeat not one, but three other women to capture the gold. That's right, it was at TakeOver War Games where Ember Moon turned back Nikki Cross, Peyton Royce, and Kyrie Sane to become NXT Women's Champion. Boom! Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh what impact! Whoa. 
For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. What a strike. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Leg drop! What a stop! Good grief! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. When it comes to Ember Moon, one thing's for certain, guys. She made an instant impact. Handily beating Billy Kay in her first ever match at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2. A boot to the face. Boom, what impact. Ooh. Nailed it. Papa Shango tagged in. Beautiful technique. I don't agree with what Byron was saying about Ember Moon's debut. She made her presence felt on day one and never looked back, beating some pretty big names in the process. Yeah, anytime you could say you defeated the likes of Shayna Baszler and Ruby Riot, you know you're legit. Harsh impact. Oh, nasty impact. Uh-oh. Healthy German suplex. Look at this power. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Hart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers. The end right across the back of the neck. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. That could procure the win for Papa Shango. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Drop kick. Beautiful. This might be it. Oh, my. Rough landing. Ooh. Boom. Ooh. It's in. It's in. Night, night. She got all of it there. And oh, right. my God. What a forearm. Right to the jaw. Tremendous impact. She is on fire. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a... Boom, what impact! What a scary drop! And how they survive that is anyone's guess. Nice kick out there. Candice LeRae with an easy kick out. In control here with a... Byron, one thing we learned very early on about Ember Moon is that she can overcome any adversity thrown her way. I insult! She got it! What are the odds that we'll see new tag team champions come out of here tonight? 
If I could reinforce what Bi Solid contact from Candice LeRae. Can't waste any. Can she keep her down? Nice sliding 12 line finds its mark. She's trying to prove a point here. You gotta believe this one's over. Wow, fantastic ability from Ember Moon. She can end it here. Shango in with the tag. Oh! Oh, what impact! Oh man, what a hit! Knocked right off the apron. Oh, nasty impact! Shango need to do now to remain a factor in this match. She doesn't want to let this get out of control, guys. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no way she can continue like this and expect to win the match. There's just no way. So she's taking a little punishment here. No big deal. She's still in better shape than her opponent, I'd say. When she gets in attack mode, look out. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, right to the body. That hurts. She's going to be feeling that one for a while. What an incredible moonsault. Now, she just needs to finish her off. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Only a two count. She's still in this one. Papa Shango just too quick. She's dazed on the top turnbuckle. And it's a long way down from there. This won't end well. Game, set, match. This one is over. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Three. And we have our winners.